How y'all doing today? This is Derek Kwan, Executive Director at Your Lead Center of Kansas, and I am so excited today to uh, one of the longest serving members of the Jazz at Lincoln Central Orchestra, um, and that is none other, uh, none other than the great trumpet player Marcus Prinup. This man, oh. so good to see you. Good to and see you too. Always and good to see you. Know, the, the, the gray represents those 27 years I've been in the band. So Yeah, 27. Yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. And and uh just a little a little teaser. We have a very, very special guest that's going to be joining us in a in a short while. Oh nice. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm curious who that is. <laughs> Excellent, man. <laughs> but man, Marcus, always so good to see you. Always good to 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 be in your presence, uh, you, even if it's virtually. Uh, but man, I want to thank you so much for your contributions to Rock Chalk Suite, and you know that that is such an important project to uh, the Lead Center of Kansas, the University of Kansas, and to and to really the the, the entire state of Kansas, really. That's and um, you know the movement that you <laughs> created is absolutely uh, uh, just a, such a fun, grooving movement that it, you can't n help but not move and dance. Uh, when when you hear it, so can you can you talk to us a little bit about the movement that you created, JoJo's Mojo, in honor of the great JoJo White? Your yes, concept yes. behind that that movement. Awesome. Well, but before I do so, um, I was at I, I I did the Disney All American College Marching Band in 1989. Oh yeah, my, yeah. And um, one of my section mates, her, her name is Kristen Armbarger, and she went to KU and. I didn't know much about KU at the time, and she would always talk about KU, KU, we're the best, we're the best, we're the best. So <laughs> she talked about it with such pride, and just being able to be there, to be there on the campus. A few years, was that last year? Or was that two years ago? Uh, two years ago, 2018. Two years ago. And yep. it's such a, it's such a special place, and I'm so happy just to be there and just to be you all know, treated as like royalty. And just really want to thank everyone there, you know, starting with you and uh, the the basketball coach and everyone on the, on the staff and the the the. the the patrons it was wonderful so that man that's so that, kind of you that's so, so really, kind of you marcus it's, it's really awesome it's really you guys are, you guys rock i can't wait to come back <laughs> well we, we can't wait to have you back yes sir so jojo's mojo so when we were given the um assignment to um you know compose something for this of course all the cast in the band were excited because we love sports i mean everybody in the band loves sports and um I knew a little bit more about Kansas and, you know, the, the, the legacy of Will Chamberlain, you know, all, all the great, you know, players who come there. The truth, Paul Pierce and everyone. Yeah. I was given JoJo White, and I didn't know that JoJo went there because I remember when, jo I guess JoJo played in the 60s and 70s, and um, it, uh, maybe he played in the beginning of the 80s. So I didn't see much of his playing, but I had heard of him. And I think I had his basketball card when I was in nice. school. Yeah. So I did some research and I was like, "Ooh, oh, he's smooth, man." So the first thing I said, you know, this this has got to be kind of funky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got to be something soulful. I can't remember exactly what I wrote in my presentation, but I, I think it said something about him being cool. Jojo is always moving, always hustling, and giving 100 percent. Maybe this explains why he was drafted not only by the NBA but by the Major League by Major League Baseball, the National Football League, and the military. <laughs> and the very beginning of the song yeah. is kind of like I think I said something like you can hear like the firing of a wartime rifle, you can hear a switch, you can hear his, his, his sneakers um, scratching against the floor, you can hear um, it was baseball. Was it baseball that he did too? I think it was yeah, baseball. Ba yeah, he did baseball, definitely. Yeah, like home run. So, all, everything in the very beginning kind of represents everything that he represented. And then all of a sudden, it stops. Boom! And then the 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 beat comes in. Boom! 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 Bing! Bing! And it's just smooth sailing from then on out. So that just represented him. It's just, I mean, I mean, just how he looked. He was just so like, he looks, he, he looks so distinguished. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And just hearing him speak as well. Um, I did my research on him, him as well. Just, you did, yeah. Just speak, man. Just, just so that that vibe just represented what I felt about Jojo White. And um, I got a letter from his from his wife. 
Yes. And, yes. You know, it's this funny thing about it. I think it got lost in some emails, and I just found that email about a month ago. Wow. I have to write her back. So, Mrs. White, I'm going to write you back. Um, <laughs> All right. So, yeah, but this, just so, you know, just really honored just to, to, to have written that for him. Fun piece to write. Man, and, that was beautiful. And, and, and I love the way that you kick off the, the funky, um, you know, when it's in time. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, the groove with a, with a, with a referee's whistle. Oh, that was a last minute thing. That was a last minute thing. I was, um, <laughs> when we did the recording, I was like, you know what? Does anyone have a whistle? Hey, <laughs> because initially it's up, 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 and the drums are going to go, Bum, dum, 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 bing, bing. right. I was like, you know what? This is, I got so inspired being on the campus because y'all gave us a tour of the basketball court. Right. And I'm not sure if I can, if, if I should say this, but y'all let us shoot on the court as well, which I know that those are like <laughs> sacred. So, Sorry, yeah. that, but, but, um, no, that's cool. Coach, coach, coach gave coach was so cool, man. He was so cool. And coach then, self uh, gave the go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then even with the, you know, when, when we, when we visited the court, the coach or someone said, you know what? I want to announce all of you cats on the stage. So yeah, that's right. Your announcer announces like we go and standing at five foot eight on the trumpet. Back to the trumpet section, standing in at five feet eight inches tall, the pride of Conyers, Georgia. Put your hands together for Marcus Printup. <laughs> so I was just so inspired. I, I, I kind of, I, I, I kind of wanted to take that to another level. So. I found a whistle. No, no, you found the whistle for me, right? Well, you, you, well, you, you asked about it, and yeah, and yeah. we went out and got, grabbed one. Yeah, yeah, man. By this whistle that Derek Kwan got me yesterday. Yeah, so I was like, let's do it, man. So that it worked out perfectly. So I said, <laughs> then, woo, 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 woo. yeah, yeah, <laughs> that worked out spontaneity. I mean, you know, that's what jazz is. It's funny because I'm, I, I, you know, my, my wife and I have been both teaching clinics, and that's right. I think, I think jazz musicians. <laughs> Can adapt to these times because we know how to um, how to improvise. That's right, you know? and that's that's just what we do. And you know that's what happened with the whistle thing. You know what? This is not written, but this can work. So there that's it is. right. And and shout out to Brian Haney, the voice of the Jayhawks, who did yeah, it. Yeah, Brian at the show. Awesome. That yeah. was so cool. that was so cool for us. And the, the funny thing about it is all of our trombone players are like over 6'3 or 6'4. Yeah, and then yeah. it gets to the trumpet section and we're all short. <laughs> 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 I'm proud of my five eight man. It's, it's hey man, you're the point guard. Point guard. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey man. So so speaking of of your wife. Yes. Um, I, I I'd like to reveal to everyone that's watching that our special guest will be Riza. Oh Prince. really? Oh my I don't God. know if you knew that. So, <laughs> Are you there? I guess we, what? you're a special guest. So I, I worked this out with her, you know, last night that 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 she would surprise you as being the special guest for <laughs> for this uh, awesome. for this uh, interview. Uh, so so <laughs> that's who you were talking to. Okay, all right. That's <laughs> so so okay. we are we are we are so excited to have a a you know one, our, our, honestly one of the most talented couples in all of the music right now. You know, obviously Marcus Printup member of the Jazz Lincoln Center Orchestra and family, Jazz Lincoln Center family for 27 years. And I mm -hmm. print up is an incredible, amazing harp harpist. Um, and is, has played with everybody from Chick Corea to Yo Ma. I mean, everyone. And Lady Gaga. <laughs> what's that? Lady Gaga. She did something with Lady oh, Gaga. Oh yeah, that's right. Lady Gaga. <laughs> I like to, I like to put the, uh, the emphasis on the last uh, God. So I, so I, I like to say Lady Gaga. <laughs> so, so as you can see so so both both of them are so versatile so talented so kind and you know what what i'd like to, to to transition to now is what have you been doing during this pandemic to stay creative and what has what have you what have you been doing to inspire wow okay that's a loaded question <laughs> it is it is well I think at first, like everyone else, we had no idea what to expect. We had no idea what direction anything was going. And especially for the arts, it's, it was just so unpredictable. We just had no, we had no idea. So um, for my personal, little, my, my projects, um, I've already, I, I had already uh, 
created a general music curriculum for yes. K through five mm -hmm. um, for the elementary schools. And it's already been in school. It's about like four or five schools and then even a studio in Japan. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> and it, it, I mean, I'm kind of blown away, but it, it's meant for general music teachers to teach it's like the entry point to jazz, but the main message is, is not so much to teach them repertoire or to teach them history, but it's all it's for the children to find their song through the music of jazz. And right. so making the connections from a historical perspective and sharing how, you know, for instance, like the blues comes from a cry, a moan. It is, we, we say the blues is a, uh, a song that we sing to express how we feel. Right. Yes. So, um, and that's, you know, to help relate it to the kids. And so some of the teachers have emailed me, they're like, Oh my goodness. Some of my kids need like five sheets. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> I have a template for them to create their own blues and it's, you know, very kid friendly and, and they're like, okay, we're just going to keep printing it. Um, so I, I'd already been running that, uh, for the past, well, really since 2016 and then really officially since, uh, fall of 2018. Um, right. And so with the pandemic happening and schools closing and people shifting to online learning, uh, teachers were asking, okay, what can we do? We need help. We need content. We don't know. I mean, they're adjusting in so many different ways. Um, so we said, okay, well, let's make this material accessible. And yes. so that's when I shifted over to Remarkable Music for Arts and Education, which is our nonprofit, um, yes. to make it accessible to everyone. Um, so that it's not just only for Google Classroom, but if it's for the parents, it's for the kids at home, if they need stuff to do. Uh, and so we essentially put like the highlights of each lesson plan in, you know, on the website. And then we also included what we call a, a blue sheet challenge and also a blues <laughs> challenge. Nice. So we were, um, we're offering for the kids as part of their homework. If they wanted to write a blue sheet, then they could, their teacher, or they could submit it to us and then we would perform it for them and we record it and post I've it. I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen that. It's so then, awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then the blues challenge was really to open it up for musicians so that they have something to express. Cause I mean, everyone's got a blues especially yeah. now and yeah. they need a way to express themselves and so we thought what a great way to include even just our global family you know anyone and so we've yeah, had we were, we're submissions from like the brazil, brazil and Argentina. <laughs> all over i mean brazil also to just start blowing up and i'm like so she had she had she had one of our friends her name is mika Yashimura. mika nishimura abustad she, uh, yeah so she made <laughs> She made a piano track of um, like a G minor blues. She's playing on like six, seven courses, and we send out that you know that that we put it on the on, on, on the website, and then people yeah. submit their solos. I mean, it was we had some great stuff. We had Randy Brecker sent one in, the great Randy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's yeah, great. That's awesome. This no, is it's great. Yeah, this is amazing. So, so can you tell? So it's all under the framework of remarkable music. Uh, in arts education, is that is that right? For arts and education, yes. Remarkable and music so, for arts and education. It's a, it's, it's so it's a puts together both your name Riza and Marcus. Yeah, yeah. remarkable. Um, and yeah. I love that. Okay, excellent. You've got the good. So so anyone so anyone can 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 just go to your website and that's yeah. that, uh, uh, and then we'll put the we'll put the URL up here in the, in the comments section. So Thank that everybody you. watching this can go check out the website. And, yes. and so in addition to folks being able to uh, contribute uh, their blues over, you know, the backgrounds that you provide, well, something that really caught my attention was the summer uh, explorers. Um, oh, yeah. As, yeah. Because, yeah. because I think, you know, uh, it, you know, for, for, and can you, can you, can you clarify the age group that is intended for? Sure. And that's yeah. actually, it's been so much fun for me. I just yeah. I can't wait because I just crack up. So there, there, I have two classes and yeah. they run, both classes run on Tuesdays and Thursdays for a total of six weeks. Um, so 12 total uh, sessions. The first class are four to six year olds. I love it. I love it. See that, that, you know, we need, we need more meaningful and real content for four to six year olds in the yeah. school. 
and they need it. They want it. Yeah. They're looking for it. Um, yeah. You know, after I was uh, teaching, um, you know, at, at another, another early childhood uh, program and the kids would uh, they age out at five. And so the parents would ask, is there another program out there? And there's not. There's oh, nothing man. available for the elementary school from five wow. to like maybe middle school, because really the kids are not introduced to jazz. Maybe mm -hmm. if they're lucky, middle school, maybe, but usually high school, if oh, their band director has an interest in jazz. And then mm -hmm. even then it's very much on the fringes. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know, we really need to make this accessible because not only is it important for these children to find a way to express themselves, but it's a way for them to connect with history. It's a way for them to connect with the music, um, yes. with artists. <clears throat> with, I mean, there's so even social studies, because in the jazz yeah. explorers, um, I'm using a lot of the content from the general music curriculum. And I have, um, I've designed all these maps. I mean, it's a whole thing. I mean, for the, for the general music curriculum, there's an um, online appendices. So everything's available for the teachers, the uh, online accompaniment, there's images like photos, uh, like links to YouTube uh, um, videos, there's a listening, a uh, party, you know, for sheet, and then they have yeah. arts and crafts. So when it comes to, let's see if you get this is this is let's see if you get to this Louis Armstrong as a as a kid. Yeah, <laughs> there's Louis Armstrong. Yeah. Johnson, Chano Pozo, Chano, oh, yeah, Horace Silver. She's got a little. There's the bangs. We got this is so great. <laughs> Dizzy, <laughs> Dizzy, on Young Dizzy. Oh, here's Dizzy. So yeah, I got the. Yeah, so this I is love it. Gonna be and you got so so. I love the fact that you know you poured your hearts into um, making it possible for others in this world to fulfilling and meaningful positive content. That's just so great because I, both of you are such giving people, and that that that, that, that demonstrates it in action. And and um, you know. Love the fact that you're collaborating on it. Markets participating in, in, in you know in, in 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 some of the activities as well. Um, so, so and he handles the older kids. <laughs> like he has the education. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> but he still joins us. Like he he joined us for our Louis Armstrong New Orleans week, and that was. Look out, that boys, the Louis Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> they love that. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs> oh, and that's another thing too is we do have guest artists who come in on every Thursday to right. help continue and demonstrate and bring to life the content that we learn on Tuesdays. So, like for instance, this week uh, we're exploring the music of Afro-Cuban jazz. Nice. So we're going to be taking a trip as explorers to who's Cuba. A, a nice. And our special guest, her name is Lisette Santiago, and she's nice. an amazing percussionist. And so we're Great. going to be exploring the, the rhythms of Cuba. <laughs> so where where are you in the, the curriculum right now? You said it's, it's uh, maybe the second or third, fourth week or... We are coming into the fifth week. Fifth week. Okay, got it. And will you continue this into the fall, possibly, depending on? Yeah, you know, well, um, I might. I mean, it just, it was something that was like, well, everybody else is doing an online camp. Why not do it? But right. um, I am you have offering. So much you have so much <laughs> I actually have like three or four <laughs> units, and in each unit, there are about eight lesson plans, but they are dense. I mean, there's so okay. much material that you could spend literally three weeks on just one lesson plan. Wow. But wow. I have a, a teacher's workshop that I'm running at the end of July. It's like for four days with the teachers who already have the curriculum. And then that nice. way I can help them navigate through the online appendices and, and help them figure out how to deliver this to their kids if they're mm -hmm. going to continue in an online, you know, situation. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, you know, I guess just in, in, you know, the, the, the kind of the tenor of the moment, um, I know it's different in, in New York versus, you know, here in the Midwest and Kansas, um, where in, in New York, I, I think for the first time yesterday, I think there was uh, not a, a fatality from COVID in, 20, in a 24 hour period for the first time, right? Which is yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and, but it seems like a lot of areas are moving in the different direction including including out here and, and there's been a yeah. lot of talk about you know continuing online education you know through through the school year so yeah. um, but it's awesome that you already have all this framework and, and curriculum developed uh, you know ready to go you know so um, 
But you know, I, I just want to thank you, thank you both again for taking the time to to visit today. I mean, it's so good to check in with uh, creative people, artists, pure artists like yourselves, because you know the Lead Center would not exist without artists like yourselves. Mm -hmm. So we we want to make sure that um, that our our audiences get to hear directly from you, and yes. and and get to hear some of the great things that you are are doing, and you really are both doing some, some incredibly great things right now. So congratulations to you so on that. Nice. And I told her, I told my wife about the great time we had up there and hopefully we can bring you next time. Um, yeah. He had the best time. So you know, <laughs> like so you, know <laughs> you know, one of the, one of the, 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 the uh, supporters of your movement, you know, Dr. Uh, uh, so I think it was Scott and Linda Robinson and Chris and Jane Feverly. Yes. And, and I remember one of them invited you to, if, if you're in town for a game, he said, so, uh, yeah. and I heard that those tickets are really hard to come by. So yeah, he said. He, I remember you. 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 You have said that. So, um, yeah. so yeah, we just got to figure. You know, figure out uh, a, a safe time for, for yeah. again a safe time for y'all to come back and with when and hopefully when they can have people in the stands. Yeah. Games, um, but in the meantime, man, love you both. Love you both. Aww, you too, bro. Thank and, you. Uh, you too. Can I show one more thing? Oh yeah, please, please. Yeah. So we just finished um, outside of the educational stuff. Of course, I, I play the trumpet. She plays the heart. We just released. Uh, oh yeah, a solo CD, and it's all ballads. Okay. It's called um, "Gentle Rain." Yeah. We're really, we're, we're really proud of it. it, it it's actually, all steeplechase, steeplechase records. Steeplechase. And all it right, came great. Out in, in March when it came out, it's like right when the right pandemic before began. pandemic. So it's Got now it. starting to get like a lot of play but i'm really 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 super proud of it yeah. it's just like a story of our well, meeting and it's, it's it's wonderful so we, we will make fun. sure to provide a link to that that album as well thank you man. so thank you, man. um but but yeah man no that's beautiful i can't wait so it's all ballads huh yes yeah yes. Oh. harp and trumpet i love it <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what's he going what's going to get he's so excited <laughs> That's so, cool. but thank you so much for having us and thank you for just giving us this opportunity to share about what we've been doing. <laughs> you know what? You know what? The world needs to know about these ty types of pop. <laughs> oh, he's got the, he's got the tricks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walt, yeah Walt, Walt Wesley and Lynette Woodard. Yeah, yeah, yes. Two of the greats. Yeah, man. Well, I had to show this to you. So. <laughs> 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 hey guys, Marcus and Riza, thank you so much. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you Derek. Rock chalk, all right? Rock chalk, baby. Thank okay, you, bro. Take, take care. Take care, man. Bye bye.